Hello. I thought I would tag on to my last post, the 100 Days Project, and show you what I am doing instead of a 100 Day Project this year. Um, it's If you listen to my last video, you'll hear that I, um, in one year, my success story was doing a hundred days of documenting how I show up for myself art-wise and it lasted more than a hundred days so it's kind of where I'm taking off this year as well but I'm going to document it in a little different way. This project was inspired by Andrea Shebelo from A Work of Heart Studios. She has a class called Daily Creative Practice Journal I think. And um, she has shown pictures and I just sort of mm, imagined what I was seeing in the pictures, deconstructed things and made my own. So the idea is there is a calendar, <clears throat> one per month, and um, I will go through them um, in a minute. And each calendar is um, a fold out, which has each of the days of the month. Now, she has much more than this. She might do like a, a week at a glance or um, uh, the month, a whole month in review or even a year in review before she does the whole book. But I chose to simplify mine a little bit. Um, the folder itself is made out of a file folder and then I just collaged um, some vintage papers, digital images that I have or scrapbooking paper to decorate it. And then on the inside, I just did a painter's palette of um, basically the colors that are on my folder, just to give me some color on the inside. And it's I'm basically documenting how I'm showing up for myself creatively throughout the month. Um, I use some stamps, some frame stamps, and number stamps just to decoratively do a week for each layout. And this was January. And um, this was when I was doing the needle book tutorial. So I have a picture of that. And um, some of it is just how I'm, how we're, I'm showing up. Here we were traveling and I consider, um, you know, a bouquet of flowers on the table at the restaurant and the restaurant itself, uh, things that we experience that are um, creatively inspiring to me. We went to this really cute cafe in Nashville called Blue Sky or Sky Blue, Sky Blue Cafe. And uh, it was very locals um, vibe. It was, it was really cute. So, you know, I include stuff like that in there. And then each month I plan to document the books that I've made. Um, I'm still on a handmade book kick. So um, I'm gonna document the books that I've made and keep track of how many I make in the year. So I think this, uh, I think throughout the month I wrote the number of books, you know, what, I numbered the books so that at the end of the year I will know how many I've made. And I think this was, um, I think this was uh, five or six, something like that for January. So I will take you through each month Here's January. Um, February. And I, I tried to just um, vary the, the color and style of every month. So, and then doing the color palette for matching the pages that I, or the papers that I used. Here we decor we redid our dining room chairs and we went to the theater. So some of it is, and there's my stitching sampler. Um, some of it is in creative endeavors and some of it is inspiration. Some of it is experiencing the creative arts, maybe culinary arts or theater arts, music. Here's uh, where I made some uh, handmade book cloth. Um, Valentine's Day, I bought these chocolates for my husband and they were, each chocolate had an artistic, uh, like an artistic stamp painted on it, or I don't know how they made it, but they were really cool. 
pretty expensive, but they were cool. <laughs> Um, and here's where I did some napkins over uh, paper to use for book covers. So I just stuck a little sample of them in there. Some of it is just for color. Some of it is um, to refer back to it, you know, just it's memories for me. Um, but each month I kind of laid things out similarly here. I put a little note to myself in here about showing up and, you know, just Maybe I will put something like that throughout the year just to keep myself going. And then again, at the end of the month, um, I'm planned to take photos of the books that I've made so that I can keep tra track of them. Um, at the end of the year, I think it will be interesting to see how many I've made. Here is just the end of February and I'm already on book number 16. So um, that's, that's kind of cool for me. So... Um, and then here is uh, March so far. Another uh, palette. And then uh, this last weekend I hosted a handmade book club meetup. And these were the name tags that I made. And um, here's us uh, doing our work on that. And then this week I don't have any photos to show yet and we plan to do some traveling. So some weeks will not be very interesting. Other weeks will be, um, you know, they'll have so much going on that I need to add a little flip on like that. So um, generally, that's how I plan to document the year um, in and do more than a 100 day project. So here was January's folder. February. March, April. It was very fun to vary the color scheme for each month. And I love flowers and color, and so I wasn't going to do things that were, you know, seasonal, but I did try to implement seasonal colors in my in my pages so i i had a lot of fun i used a lot of um rachel from roxy creations a lot of her digital images i love paper and I, she did these handmade papers and some of the digitals i did a lot of her her pieces August and these are uh, old very old rub-ons I couldn't believe that they actually worked they are um, probably uh, 10 to 15 years old maybe even more this one's my favorite I think and I didn't think I liked these this painted paper that Rachel did, but it worked well for November. And this is another of her printables too. And then December, even though it's not very Christmassy, it does have some green and red in it. So um, I had so much fun. I've already done, for each month I've done the color palette, but I haven't done the, the, the days for all of the week or for, for each of the weeks in the year. Um, some things that I did for each of the month is to do a month, a full month grid and the color palette. I have the pages roughly in there and they're mapped out so that I can do the book at the end of the month or the book calculation at the end of the month. Um, and if I need extra space, I will add it on as the months happen. But this is the way that I'm gonna show up for myself this year. Um, and document it because I one thing I learned in that 100 days project is if I don't document how I'm showing up, it doesn't mean that I didn't show up, but I have a really hard time giving myself credit for showing up if I can't see something that I produced. And um, it's, it's just like a to-do list. If you don't write it down and check it off, it doesn't mean that you've done nothing. 
Um, it just means you, you don't see that you get to give yourself credit for it. So this is kind of my silly way of keeping track of how I'm showing up and giving myself credit for it. So um, I'm, I'm curious to know how you are showing up for yourself artistically. Um, let me know in the comments and let's show up for ourselves this year. Thanks for coming along and thanks for those who have subscribed to my channel. I really appreciate your being here um, and coming along for the ride. Thanks. See you next time.